This is what I want you to see though. So look at where, where I'm at right now. I'm at 4. 4.8, right close to 4.8. Look at that number change when I do this. I'm gonna go ahead and introduce a dirty condenser scenario. Dirty condenser, okay? All right, so that's blocked off. It was at 4.8, right? 4.8. You see, now I'm at 5.1 because now I had more heat collected in the refrigeration system. My head pressure goes up. My compression ratio goes up. It's pumping more, working harder. And you see, now you're just wasting energy. But that's what I wanted you to see though. By me having a dirty condenser, right? In the case of the, and this compressor, you see, I'm already up almost half of one amp. Point, it went from 4.8 to 5.6. It's almost one amp over. So look, now once I get, uh, once get, I get rid of this uh, obstruction, now it can breathe, it can do its job. It's not gonna have a high head pressure. Look at that climb down. You see, it's climbing down. So yes, um, compressor amperage can fluctuate based on what's going on with the, with the system, right? A lot of factors can happen. That is why cleaning the keeping the condenser uh, coil clean, the filters, making sure it's properly charged, all those things play effect in how much current that compressor gonna, is going to be uh, drawing.